Hello everybody and welcome back to a quick little tutorial video that I have for you guys today. Now what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you, as you can probably tell from the title, how you can get the classic Windows 98 and even Windows 95 screensavers in Windows 10. This is an extremely simple process. It's not even really a process at all. It's literally just moving some files around. And it's something that I personally do on my main computer. I actually use the Flying Windows screensaver from Windows 98. It's a uh, classic sort of vintage um, screensaver that I really like and it works super well on my main computer. It's what I use. And you can do this as well and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do it step by step in this video tutorial right here. So there's a couple of ways you can actually go about getting these screensaver files because that's really what we're after is just the actual files and we're going to then move those files from a Windows 98 computer over to our Windows 10 computer and you can do this on pretty much any version of Windows, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and I would assume the future versions of Windows to come that are published after this video. Your first choice is actually having a copy of Windows 98 or, or Windows 95 whether that be on a physical computer or in a virtualized environment like I have here. All you have to do once you boot up into your Windows 98 installation is go to the start menu, go to find and then files or folders and do a search for star.scr and press enter and it, what it will do is it will uh, give you a list of every single SCR file or a screensaver file that's on your computer. And then what you can do is copy these files over to your Windows 10 computer. Your second option, which is much easier, is just following the link that I'll have down below in this video's description to actually download a um, pre-configured package of all of these screensavers in one zip file that you can then extract and uh, use on your Windows 10 machine. And so I assume that's going to be the easier option for most people. I'm, I'm just going to have that link down below. So go ahead and follow that if you're interested in actually uh, getting these screensavers to work. Then what you want to do is actually open up the folder that contains all of those files. So what you want to do is open up in a separate window your System32 folder and make sure you don't delete any files in here because obviously it will mess up your system. And you can see that I already have the flyingwindows.scr screensaver in here. What you just want to do is go back to this other folder here and basically find whatever screensaver that you want to use. So, you know, if I want to get the 3D text screensaver or the uh, 3D maze, let's go with the 3D maze, okay? So all I have to do is just drag this file from this folder over to the System32 folder, drop it in there. It's going to ask you to authenticate with user account control if you have that enabled. And there we go. Now all you have to do is open up the control panel. And from in the control panel, you just want to do a search for screensaver. And then you want to hit change screensaver, which is, I guess, under power options now. And if you've copied the uh, screensaver file correctly over to the system32 folder, like if you put it in the right directory, it will appear in this drop down menu here. So you can see now I have the 3D maze screensaver. This is the classic. This was another favorite of mine as well. Um, this is the classic Windows 95 and Windows 98 3D maze. So if I just hit preview here, um, it will play it is playing right now now one thing that i do want to mention and this is a huge thing for any of you guys out there who are using a dual monitor setup the windows 98 screensavers support dual monitors so when i actually hit preview here and i'm not going to do it again um this screensaver took up both of my monitors which is obviously what i would want now the windows 95 versions of these same screensavers a lot of them are in windows 95 do not support dual monitors and i actually figured this out when i originally copied copy these over to my computer, I copied the Windows 95 version of the Flying Windows screensaver, and when I hit preview, it only worked on one of my screens, on my main screen. So if you want to have, you know, if you have a dual or a multi-monitor setup and you want to have this uh, screensaver take effect on all of your monitors, you want to make sure that you get the Windows 98 version of all these screensavers. So again, that is how simple it is. I mean, you can go in here and obviously set a timer if you want to, but I'm sure all of you guys know how to do that. And that is all there is to it. I mean, that is how simple it is. It's literally just moving files around. I'm certain that 
most of you guys would have probably been able to figure this out on your own, but I just wanted to make this video to kind of point out if you guys didn't know that you can actually do this, that this is how easy it is to do, to get these classic vintage Windows screen savers on the latest and greatest version of Windows, Windows 10. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up, be sure to get subscribed down below, and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. And also be sure to drop me a comment down below letting me know which one of these screensavers is your guys' favorite. Do you have a favorite? Do you have multiple favorites? Do you uh, look forward to actually getting these on your Windows 10 computer if you didn't know how to do that already? Be sure to let me know any thoughts or any questions that you guys have down in the comments as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say. And as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.